Welcome to the world of amazing animal, eggs. Taking up golfing, Henry? What's your handicap? I can't hit the ball. Hey! I did it! Henry? Huh? You're lucky, Henry. That's not a ball. It's an egg. Excuse me, but eggs aren't blue. You'd be surprised. Animal eggs come in all kinds of colors, shapes, and sizes. But all of them provide safe homes for growing animals. Many have tough outer shells. And some have soft cases, which makes hatching easy. Others are laid in the hundreds. Time for a bigger car, Mom and Dad. Some eggs have no shell at all. Talk about a room with a view. Animal eggs provide the food, oxygen, and protection babies need until they're ready to hatch. I've had babysitters before, but that's ridiculous. Ouch! Not all parents sit on their eggs, Henry. Female turtles bury theirs in the sand. That's what I do. Then I could play on the beach. It's not that easy. Even hidden eggs aren't always completely safe from predators. Some baby insects even eat their own eggshells right after emerging. These are Siamese fighting fish. Hey, break it up, guys. They're not fighting each other. The female has laid her eggs on the male fish's tail. Now he must quickly collect them all. Why? Does he think it's Easter? <laughs> no, he carries them in his mouth to a floating nest he's made from air bubbles. That's amazing and smart. Right. Keeping all their eggs in one basket helps the parents guard them. Wow! There's more to this egg business than I expected. The last time, it's not a chocolate egg. I know, I know. Chocolate eggs are brown. Sorry. This one's blue, so it's obviously peppermint. <gasps> no, Henry. It's an animal's egg. I know. I was just joking. Oh, it's hard to tell sometimes. So what kind of bird do you think it belongs to, huh? A tawny eagle? Or a vulture? Or even a snake? A frog? Or an insect? All kinds of animals lay eggs, remember? Hmm. Aha! I've got it! I'll put out an all-animals bulletin and find its rightful mother. That's very considerate of you. Besides, then I don't have to babysit it anymore. Henry, looking after eggs is a big responsibility. Most animals take the survival of their young very seriously. How? By playing leapfrog? These tree frogs construct an ingenious nest after mating. I never knew frogs grew on trees. These do, and their nest is designed so the tadpoles slide into the water when they've hatched. The adult frogs have shaped leaves into a funnel, gluing it together with mucus. And the little froggies fall into place. Falling is a constant danger for eggs here. Murs are seabirds which nest on steep cliffs. Help! 
careful, bird. You'll knock it off. Don't worry, Henry. Thanks to their unique long shape, these eggs just roll around in a circle if they're disturbed. You mean like an egg roll? Oh, brother. Dogfish lay eggs known as a mermaid's purse, tying them to rocks to ensure their safety. Maybe they should turn the purses into the mermaid lost and found. The specially adapted egg means the baby fish don't get lost. Horn sharks lay corkscrew-shaped eggs, winding them into the ocean floor. That's screwy, but cool. So let me guess, these birds glue their eggs to the ground so they can run off and have fun, right? It's not that easy, Henry. Not for lapwings, anyway. When hungry turkey vultures come around, leaving your eggs is sometimes the best policy. Don't go, Mom. Your baby lapwings need you. Her eggs are well camouflaged. They look like pebbles, making them hard to see from above. The lapwing mother draws attention away from the nest, pretending to have a broken wing. She's hoping the vulture will be more interested in her than her eggs. If she'll do all that just to save those eggs, just think what she'd do if that vulture came any closer. What an excellent mother she is. Oh, not again. Say, this would make a great toy. Henry, be careful with that. It has a baby inside, remember? Yes, but you said eggs keep babies safe. It'll be fine. Eggs can be pretty tough, but they still need a lot of protection. Maybe you can get some help looking after it. Hmm, darn. Mom's out of town. Say, how about you? Wouldn't you just love a nice little egg to look after? No fuss, no muss, just a bit of sitting and watching. And crushing. Huh? Some snakes eat other animals' eggs, Henry. How about you, my furry friend? All that fur would keep a little egg warm and happy. Sit, go on, sit, sit. She might be a bit big to sit on it, though, don't you think? Hmm, rats or hamsters. Small, yet perfectly formed for the job. Come on, come on. Up you go. Just pretend it's a big hamster wheel. Face it, Henry. You're going to have to protect this egg yourself. There. Snug as an egg in a rug. Oh, I just don't know. What? It might be warm, but is it safe, Henry? Of course it's safe. Like my grandpappy says. If your eggs need warming, just ask a lizard. Like my cousin Anna. Anna? Anna Iguana. She builds her house out of gravel because she knows it'll keep her eggs at the right temperature. Very good, Henry. Temperature control is very important for the babies to develop properly. Yeah. And since Anna can't sit on her eggs to keep them warm, she buries them in the ground. Not too hot, not too cold. They are just right. Aww. Aren't they cute? Look at his sweet little claws and his little bitty scales. But how will the little lizards get by without their mom? Newborn iguanas are different to many baby animals, Henry. They can already hunt and eat insects all by themselves. I guess they save a lot of money on Mother's Day cards then, huh? These amazing nest makers are the Mallee Fowl of Australia. They have another name which means big feet. Oh my, Mallee, what big feet you have. All the better for raking leaves, my dear. And they do, spending months collecting a huge pile which will help them control the temperature of their eggs. How? They use a thermometer? Kind of. First they build up all the leaves and grass into a large mound which begins to rot. And under all of this go their eggs. That's a rotten way to treat a baby. Not if you're a Mallee fowl. As the leaves get more and more rotten, they release heat. Lots of it. So what if they get too hot? 
Too hot? The birds take some off. Too cold? They add more. On, off, off, on. All the while, the Mallee Fowl father uses his beak to measure the temperature. So it is like using a thermometer. Amazing! And he won't get a break for eight weeks until the chicks hatch and dig themselves out. Ah, uh, a baby Mallee Fowl. How cute! Henry, Henry, it's time for your report on animal eggs. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal lizard coming through! Tonight, it's official. Mushroom is fun guy to be with. And taking time out to smell the flowers. But now, our top story. Birds cry foul over egg competition. Feathers were flying today at a contest to find the biggest egg in the world. The sporting event turned sour when the ducks got in a flap over claims that the chickens were cheating. The ostriches refused to comment. And the hummingbirds weren't saying a word while the owls kept an eye out for suspicious behavior. All the competitors flew into a rage when the results were announced. Our reporter was on the scene. They're about to announce the winner of the biggest egg here, Henry, and... Uh, oh, the chickens are approaching the winner's stand. Oh, oh no! The ostriches aren't happy! Oh, 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 get it? Oh, the humanity. We're experiencing, uh, technical difficulties. More on the egg story as it breaks. I mean, happens. Stay tuned. But first, here now the sports. Fantasyland 1, Lizards 0. <laughs>